looking past what he see in the natural, but pressing his way through the spirit because that's where you got to get your, your, your spirit released because your soul is in torment. Your soul is in fear. You perceive that you're going to die. But now he says here, he says, if it be you, bid me to come. And then Jesus say, it is I. And then that famous word, come. <laughs> and that's all he looked at and said, that's all he needed. And so when he got the, when he got that word, come, that word had to travel from Jesus to him to awaken his inner man, wow. to give him the power that wow. he needed. Wow. Not the natural, because wow. on the natural you can't walk on water. Wow. But Peter said, if it be you, I want to do what you're doing. My God. I want to be able to come to you as you coming to me. My God. So he says, come. He steps out. I don't think he stepped out like this here. Mm. Uh -uh, come on. <coughs> my God, my God. Hey. Well, he's trying to fill the foundation. Because in his right, in his mind, uh, I can't walk, you know, on water. But if Jesus says, hey. come, come on, my God. and you connect the word of God that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, if I can do that, because he tell me to do it wow. with no reserves. Wow. Look at this, they don't have no reserves. Wow. But you just step out on him. Wow. Step out on, and I don't mean step out on him to walk away from him. Uh -huh. I mean step out on him and step into him. Come on, right. It's a different when you step out on somebody and then step into him stepping out on somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. 